We went high in the mountains and started doing some restoration early on in the early 90s. And we found out that wildlife restoration and restoring the lands was, was just where it's at. I don't, I don't want to dig sewers. I don't want to do a parking lot. I, I want to save fish. I spend all my time in the woods and the quiet and stress-free environments working for agencies that are top-notch doing mitigation and restoration work. This is my office. Mount Adams is within just almost touching sight on this side. And Mount St. Helens is on the opposite side of us here. We're doing a culvert replacement water quality. It's care and handling a water replacement of uh, culverts and we're putting fish friendly passage and, and doing some uh, restoration of some slides. So we're improving water quality for salmon habitat. Modern service has been above and beyond for us. They treat us with really great respect. We have a really good partnership. I'm doing specialty work. So when I need things, I need it now. I need things to be new and tight. I can't get rental equipment that is leaky or might break down. If I'm sitting on seven feet of mud, I need to be able to depend on that machine. The thing is, is the Komatsus are the better tool for what we do. I cannot afford to break down. And they move fast and they do multiple functions at once. I need to move large rocks, large logs, and dig, and swing. So the thing is, is they're quick. The hydraulics are set that, that I can do multiple things at once. I'm in a lot of sensitive environments, so I have to sneak into hard rock places where I, I can't touch the trees. I can't touch the rock cliffs. And I like paint <laughs> too. So I like my trees green and I like my Komatsus yellow. <laughs> we have good equipment, we have good crew. You know, if you keep things tight and efficient and knowing that the machines are gonna be there dependable, the crew is gonna be dependable, you have minimal stress working on a refuge. 